Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to explain a little of why I have not been on YouTube as much. Um, I do believe that uh, the Holy Spirit had prompted me to take some rest. And as you know, we're all human and it is difficult at times. Um, and we do need rest and uh, rest in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I had also had a few visions of um, kind of like a baton from a um, race. And I do believe that he, um, of course, is pouring out his spirit, Acts 2.17, upon his body. He's revealing more and more um, outpourings of the Holy Spirit. But I do believe that he was um, wanting to give me the rest and allowing other prophetic voices um, to speak for him. It's like passing a baton in a, um, I guess a relay race is the vision that I had. I, I've had it a few times. So I kind of wanted to share that um, in case you wonder why I was, um, you know, off of YouTube. There's other reasons also, but uh, if you would just keep me in prayer, and I pray for you all daily, um, I wanted to share with you some scripture that the Lord had given me yesterday, and it's um, 1 Peter 5, um, the Holy Spirit put upon my heart 9 through 11, but I wanted to say, um, if we go up here, it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble, James 4, verse 6 um, speaks about resisting the devil. Um, in James 4, 7, it says, Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Um, we resist in the name of Jesus Christ and by the blood of Jesus and the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, these are the keys to binding and loosing um, and the power of praise and worship. Um, there is power in the name of Jesus, and we have to, when we speak with authority, we're not fighting of our own accord. I'm speaking about spiritual warfare. Um, always remember in um, Ephesians 6, um, especially 13 to 17, it's speaking, therefore, of putting on the full armor of God every day. Um, but we have to fight with the power and authority of Jesus Christ. Um, even Archangel Michael knew to fight with Jesus' name. He said, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you, Satan. So I just wanted to share that with you um, when it's talking about the book of James here. Um, and I will read 9 to 11 here. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who called us to his ex eternal glory by Christ, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. And that is what he put upon my heart um, while I was in my prayer closet. And to share with you, um, I will uh, share a little because we all go through these seasons. Um, he did lead me to uh, Colossians 3 the other day when I was praying about this season because we can go through valleys um, and we can go through dry seasons. And, um, you know, this Colossians is speaking of seasons in our life. Um, so, and God is not, um, doesn't have the timing that we have. We expect things much quicker as human beings, correct? Um, but it is by his season. Um, I thought it was Colossians, forgive me. Um, but I just wanted to share that everything is not in our timing, but it is in his timing that we have to be patient and we do suffer as Christians and we may not see, um, you know, what is coming against us. Um, but we have to trust in the Lord and we have to know that a lot of times when we're under attack, that, um, it is people, 
um, or pardon me, it is demons working through people to come against us. So I wanted to share that with you, but, but always know that Jesus, um, will never leave nor forsake you. Um, and this is one of my favorite, this is probably where I got confused with the Colossians. One of my favorite scriptures of the Holy Bible is, um, Colossians 2 15, having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them triumphing over them. Jesus, um, died on the cross for us, um, to take our sins and our iniquities on his own back. And yet he didn't know sin. Um, and you can see here, the verse prior, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Amen. So he already defeated Satan and his fallen angels. Um, of course, the demons are still working because this world is run by um, the enemy. Um, that is why we have a struggle with the flesh versus the spirit. Um, our flesh, meaning our sin and our iniquity and the spirit, um, if we are Christians um, and we have the spirit of Jesus Christ and God the Father living in us because we were made in his image. Um, so I just wanted to share these things with you and um, speak to you about why I have been off of uh you know, YouTube, because, you know, we all go through seasons and seasons are, um, you know, you can be on the mountaintop with Jesus and then, uh, then you'll go through a dry season. A lot of times the, um, the Holy Spirit has put upon my heart, um, especially after a season of blessing and things, um, but in those seasons of dryness, um, or in the seasons of the valley, uh, or under attack, that is where your true faith comes in because it's easy to praise when we're being blessed, right? It's much harder to praise when we're under attack and things are extremely difficult. But like it said in the book of Peter, we're all, uh, suffering for Christ. And it also says to, uh, call it a blessing. If we are, if we are suffering for Jesus. Um, so I just wanted to share these things with you and to let you know that you are, um, loved by Jesus and that you have not been forgotten and that he loves you very, very much. And um, we're all in this together, brothers and sisters. Um, it's speaking of this here, and I underline this, and this is uh, uh, Peter, First Peter 4, uh, 16. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this manner or matter. Forgive me. For the time will come of judgment to begin at the house of God, and it will begin with us first. What will be the end to those who do not obey the gospel of God? Because Jesus will remove the chaff from the earth. He does want everyone to be saved. Um, he truly wants us to repent of our sins and be saved and come to know him. But I just wanted to encourage you today that if you are suffering, you are not alone and you are not forgotten. Jesus never forsakes us. May God bless you today and every day and praise his holy name, Jesus Christ. Amen.